All right, I'm gonna start working on the Catalina now. I had to do a little maintenance on the Escape. Change the oil and filter and lube up all the hinges and latches and check the air in the tires. And I'll just do the general maintenance. Gave it a good bath. But look at that engine compartment in this. All, uh, I mean, you really can't even see the engine. It's just buried and stuff. And then, Look at how much easier that is to access and work on. So yeah, big difference, huh? Well, as you saw in the last video, the seats are really coming along, so I gotta get on repairing those holes. I painted the inside of the braces, so I'm gonna give the car a start. We'll do a cold start. It's been a couple months since it's been started, so I'm sure all the gas has uh, evaporated out of the float bowl, so. I'll just crank it over a little bit before I hit the accelerator. I don't like to pump the gas pedal with no gas in the float. There's nothing good about running a dry accelerator pump up and down the bore. So I'll give it a little crank and then uh, I'll set the choke and it should start right up. So I do have to hook the battery back up. I disconnected it because the interior light stays on when I have the doors open to to uh, do the body work so I don't want to run the battery down so I'll, I'll get a wrench and tighten that up and we'll do a cold start. All right this is kind of a pain sitting on a five gallon bucket but it should be enough to get the car out I can reach just barely reach the brake pedal so let's crank and get a little bit of fuel up in the carburetor Oh wow, I didn't even push the gas pedal. I set the choke. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's been a couple months since this thing's been run, too. Well, I can't back out in this tight area where I gotta back out and turn and video, so I'm gonna have to turn the video camera off here. Yeah, it was crazy nuts trying to back the car out with that, but at least I'm out so I can uh, grind that floor pan out, and then we'll pull it back in and I can start getting welded up so we can put those amazing looking seats that are coming along back in. I'm going to let the engine warm up thoroughly in the car though. Can't believe it started without setting the choke. I was just cranking it to pump some fuel up to the carburetor and she looked right up. Amazing. Then when I push the gas, the choke actually set. That's why it's on the faster idle right now. What a great running car. I really do enjoy this car. Well, I ground the heavy scaly rust out. I can do any of the other little bit of grinding in the garage, it won't make an orange mess in there. Some of that stuff, like, that's adhesive adhesive, and then they're, well, like an adhesive, and then there's some of that, this padding stuff from the bottom of the rug stuck on the pan in places, but all the rust is off, and uh, for the most part it's cleaned up. So I'll get it in the garage and finish cutting this out and fitting the metal and start tacking it in probably tomorrow. I, I want to have this finished up by Monday at the latest. I have a feeling the seats are going to be done in the next four or five days. They're really, really was super thrilled. They look fantastic. So let me try and get this thing back in the garage. I've left the engine running the whole time. Get sat out here, working on it here. Let all the moisture come out of the exhaust system. There's no more water dripping out or steam coming out of the tilt. Well, there's a little steam, it's cold out. But for the most part, I think all the moisture is out of the exhaust system. I don't want to put it back in the garage and then have the pipes rot because they're full of condensation. Well, we got it back in sitting on a bucket without slamming into anything. So, yeah. 
we'll get the battery disconnected and I'll maybe start doing some sheet metal fitting and getting the floors cut out and where I need to cut them and everything fit and get the ball rolling on getting that side finished up and then we can put those amazing seats. I'm st as you saw in the last video, I'm still waiting on the paint for the package tray there. They had to send out for it, but I imagine I'll have it by Monday or Tuesday. I don't think the seats will be done until at least the end of next week. But I'll get some video when I get the seats. And when I get that, I'll do some video of working and getting that done too. Got it all welded in. Tomorrow I'll grind out all the welds everywhere and uh, redrill the two back seat bolt holes. There, there was no sheet metal over the front holes, just the back one. So I'll bore them and put a coat of paint on it and it should look like the other side. A little bit of the underneath still looks kind of well, no light there and I don't feel like dragging the light out, but it looks pretty darn good still. It doesn't look repaired from the underneath. Thank you for watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos.